Today, I will be teaching you how to plant a tomato seed. Here are the materials that you will need to complete this. You will need a pot, dirt, cup of water, and your tomato seeds. First, you're gonna sprinkle some dirt into your pot. Then, you'll eat your tomato seeds, open them up, sprinkle a few in your hand, Get them in the pot good, and you may press down. Then, we'll cover them with the remaining dirt. Press down a little bit just to make the, sure the seeds are good and covered. And then sprinkle with some water. And that is how you plant a tomato seed. Hello, are you ready to learn how seeds grow and go to your table? Sit back and watch as we take you through this process. Now let's have, let's have some fun. Our learning objective, students will be able to identify what tomato plants need to survive and grow. Also, they will learn how to make a healthy recipe from the food that they grow. First steps, let's go over the growing stages of a tomato plant. As you can see on your screen, they go from early growth to a vegetative period, to flowering, to fruit formation, to mature formation. And that's when you're almost ready to pick your tomato and eat it. The plant life cycle includes the seed that you plant. It includes a process known as germination. It includes those roots and stems, any type of seedlings that produce, the pollination that results from the plant, the development of the fruit, and then the fruit or the tomato in this case becoming mature. So let me show you how to plant the seed in the soil. Do you have all of your materials and resources right in front of you? You need seed, soil, and a, and a pot to plant your tomato in. So first of all, the seed is planted in the soil. The seed is gonna then grow into a sprout. That's known as germination. The roots will continue to grow and grow and grow. The stem then pushes its way up to the soil's surface. Next comes the seedling. The stem and the leaves though need something special in order to grow. They need sunlight. So make sure that once you plant your seed in your pot, in your soil, you put it where it could receive some sunlight. The leaves then make the food for the plant. The plant grows flower. flowers. Can you guess what that is? Yes, you're right, that's pollination. Tomato plants contain both male and female productive parts. So the flowers can self-pollinate and continue to grow and grow and grow. Next, over the next 20 to 30 days, yes, you must be patient, the fruit grows and it grows and grows and grows until it reaches a mature size. Once the tomatoes reach this mature size, they then give off this hormone, which triggers the fruit pigment to change and for ripening to begin. Now here's where you need to make sure that you ask your mom or dad if the tomato is ripe and ready to eat. Again, how to grow a tomato plant. On your screen, you see all of the different stage, stages of growing a plant from seeds. Now, your plant is grown, your tomato has ripened. 
how are we going to turn this tomato into tomato sauce for your favorite spaghetti dishes? Now, before we start this recipe, you need to make sure that you have a parent or guardian that's there to help you with the steps of the recipe. I'll wait until you go and get your parent or guardian and we'll start this process. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade tomato sauce from tomatoes that you've grown in your very own garden. If you're going to be trying this at home, make sure that you have the help and supervision of an adult. Before we get started, let's take a look at our ingredients. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is prepare my ingredients. I've already measured out my tomato paste, my olive oil, I have my basil leaf and my bay leaf and I cut my garlic clove in half. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my tomatoes in half and I'm going to use this cheese grater to grate them over this bowl and remove the pulp that's going to make up our sauce. Okay, so I added all of my prepared ingredients, including all the pulp from my grated tomatoes into this saucepan and brought it to a bowl. So now that it's in a bowl, I'm gonna reduce the heat to low and simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes or until this liquid has reduced by half. Okay, so I've let this cook about 20 minutes and the liquid has reduced by half. I've also got some pasta going over here. So I think we are ready to put this over pasta and enjoy. Happy cooking.